William Kinsman was born in England in 1854, and in 1879, at the age of 24, he immigrated to the United States, where his parents and siblings quickly joined him. By 1880, William Kinsman had moved to the old western town of Tombstone, Arizona, where he was a gold miner and a devoted gambler. He was respected and well-liked by nearly all who knew him. Unfortunately, a crazy woman in the town of Tombstone was in love with William. She would stalk him, follow him, and somehow always find his location to talk to him. Her name? May Woodman. The woman was desperately in love with William, and she asked him several times if he would ever marry her. Each time he said no. In spite of that, she would lie to townsfolk and say that William was in fact her husband. In early 1883, Kinsman's friends played a joke on him by posting a false advertisement saying he was going to marry the stalkeress. Everyone in the whole small town found it humorous due to knowing May's obsession with William. He made it publicly and plainly clear that he never had any intention of marrying Mrs. May Woodman. This lit a fire in May's heart, and it turned her feelings into the classic, if I can't have you, no one can. It was February 23rd, 1883, when William Kinsman was standing outside the Oriental Saloon. May walked up to him and began speaking with him. It will never be known exactly what they talked about. But nevertheless, after the talking, May took a revolver out of her dress and fired at Kinsman once. He struggled to breathe and he fell to the ground. May attempted to fire a second shot, but a civilian and police officer grabbed a hold of her and asked her what she was doing. Death came upon young Billy just two hours later. The stalking murderess was arrested and tried, but she pleaded self-defense. She claimed Kinsman was abusing her, but all witnesses disproved this claim. The judge sentenced her to five years in prison, which was the maximum lawful sentence that could be given to a woman in Tombstone at the time. Kinsman was only 28 years of age. He was survived by his parents, his five sisters, and his one brother. 